Are you struggling with planning your next vacation? Well, in this video, I'm going to share the resources and tips I use to plan my vacations from start to finish. It is important for you to know and understand what is inspiring you to travel. Uh, your inspiration may change over time, but your travel why is uh, going to help you create vacations and travel experiences that fit you. Also on this trip, this vacation, are you going to relax by the pool all day or are you going to walk around the location and sightsee um, it really depends on what your style of travel is. If you're staying at an all-inclusive resort, most likely you're going to stay on property and uh, you won't visit the uh, community. You're less likely to visit the community around the property. Whereas if you're staying at a hostel, you're more likely to walk down the street and support local businesses. Choose your style of travel. Next, you are going to start creating your itinerary. Start brainstorming some activities and just write down everything possible that you could say or do in this location. If you want to follow along with me, I have a link down below where you can get my travel planning checklist as well as this Google Sheet download so you can create an itinerary for your next trip. First thing you're going to do is figure out how many days you're going to spend in this location. Let's say, I'm going to spend a weekend on this trip. So that would be three days. Now activities. One of the easier platforms to use is TripAdvisor. So I'll just visit tripadvisor.com, type in my destination. Today we are looking up San Francisco and we will click this one called things to do. Now, once you get to the things to do in, in San Francisco, this is where you can find activities that interest you. I personally like to start with the top attractions. This is where we can find Alcatraz Island, Golden Gate Bridge, Oracle Park, Palace of Fine Arts. This, this is a great place to start. If you've never been to San Francisco before, maybe you want to see Alcatraz. So we clicked on this activity and we can see that it is a traveler's choice, which means that a lot of tourists like to visit this place and they have a great time. Can't go wrong with that. Go back to your worksheet and start to type in all of the activities you find through your research that you could possibly do. Now I'm going to also type in the price of these activities I want to do as I find them. I would recommend brainstorming at least 10 before you start putting together your itinerary also need to put days, how many days I want to spend in a location. Um, my personal sweet spot is at least two nights in a location. Three is even better. Right now I need to create a five day vacation because of the brainstorm I just did with my itinerary. We are going to depart on Thursday, May 27th and I need those five days, so I'm coming back on Monday the 31st. I also have this specific location on this sheet, so if I print it out, all of the information is there and I know which vacation this is for. Day by day itinerary, you have day one, and typically this is going to be your flight. If you are doing a road trip, this is going to be the day that you drive away. <laughs> Now, next I have here a location for the activities I want to do. Now, whatever my hotel name is, I'm going to put that here. The name of the hotel, the location of the hotel. So in this case, I wrote San Francisco. B 
because I am going to another location later on in my trip. Then I'll have the phone number, the address, the physical address of the hotel, and then the dates that I am staying at the hotel. So the next morning is going to be a full day in San Francisco and I can plan my activities. On my brainstorming list, this is where I figured out all the things I wanted to do. Now, as I start to cut different items to fit these into my itinerary, my five day itinerary, I am going to star the must haves. So no matter what else I do on my trip to San Francisco, I want to see the Golden Gate Bridge. All of these other activities on here, if I can't fit them into this trip, I can always turn them into a second return trip. So that way on your return trip to say San Francisco, you already have activities here that you know you want to try and you can create your next trip even faster. I put here ticket reserved because I purchased my ticket. If I had not purchased my ticket yet, I would bold this and I would say need to purchase ticket. That way when I'm looking at this in, you know, the next week or so, I know that I need to buy this ticket. And then finally, I also want to check out Pier 39. So those are all of my activities that I want to try. I don't have anything here in the accommodations because I am staying in the same hotel. Now the next day is Saturday and I'm going to do a wine tour. Another reason I want to do this is because it is a wine tour. And if I drink wine, I might not feel too great because I'm old now and I might need a break. So the next day is going to be a relaxing day in Napa Valley. Now, Monday, the final day, because this is day five and I have five days for this trip, Monday is going to be my flight home. What I have to consider on this holiday weekend, locations could be closed, public transportation is going to be limited. So instead of taking the train, I might have to pre-book transfer, whether that's an Uber, a taxi, or something with the hotel. I need to do that ahead of time so it is scheduled. I can tell you from personal experience, visiting the Bay Area on Memorial Weekends, the BART system doesn't work the way it does normally. You have to get on a different train to connect. It does not go all the way through to o the Oakland airport. So keep that in mind if you're traveling on holiday weekends, the local transportation schedule may be different or it may not even be uh, in service. I do recommend three days in a location, but in this one, I only have two days in this example. That might work for you. For myself personally, this is okay because I'm not doing a lot of activities. I have one day that's full of wandering around the city, and then I have another day that's just relaxing here. So if I had more activities I wanted to do, let's say on my brainstorm, there was a few more things, I would either turn these into two separate trips, like one trip just to San Francisco or one trip just to Napa Valley, which would probably be better anyways, but it is up to you. As I mentioned, if you have a lot of activities, you should add more days and more rest days to your itinerary. You may want to pack everything into one day, but you, your body might not be able to handle that, especially if you are normally an office job. Take that into consideration on your trips. Have a day with activities and then add a rest day or space them out. We only get so many vacation days, but we also need to remember to treat ourselves well, treat our bodies well, and relax. Once you've gotten that far, you can even create your itinerary in Google Maps if you're interested in doing that. But most importantly, when you're creating your itinerary, you need to be flexible. 
one thing to keep in mind with vacations is that you do not have control over the weather. You do not have control over local businesses and you really don't have control over anything. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment down below, let me know where you are planning your next trip, and let me know what is important to you when you're planning your trip.